Hello, Mr. Zonker here, and this is Systems of Equations Part 2, Endgame. First off, congratulations that you survived the snap of Thanos. Your prize is learning a new method to solve systems of equations. Uh, and we're going to be calling this uh, method elimination. Now, a basic elimination is when you add or subtract equations to eliminate a variable. In this example, we've got negative 4x minus 2y equals negative 12, 4x plus 8y equals negative 24. And since everything's equal here, we can actually add these equations together. Since, you know, this side's equal to this side, this side's equal to this side, the result is still going to maintain equality and still make mathematical sense. Uh, we can see that this negative 4x plus 4x will cancel out. Negative 2y plus 8y will give us a 6y, and negative 12 plus negative 24 is negative 36. Now we have an equation we can solve. We will get y equals negative 6. Uh, again, we want to take that negative 6 and substitute that into one of our equations up there. So we're going to go ahead and take our top equation, so substituting in that 6 for that y gives us negative 4x minus 2 times negative 6 instead of y equals negative 12. Solving that, we will get x equals 6, uh, and our final answer, 6 as a point, 6, negative 6. In addition to adding, ah, in addition to adding, we can also subtract. Here we have x plus y equals 11, 2x plus y equals 19. Since these are the same, Let's go ahead and subtract these. So when I subtract this equation, it's actually going to reverse all of my signs because that minus sign, that negative, would distribute. So we've got x minus 2x would give us a negative x. Positive y minus y, those would cancel out. And 11 minus 19 would give us equals negative 8. Solving for that, we'll get x equals 8. We want to substitute that back in to one of the equations. Let's go ahead and say, hey, let's take that x equals 8 and put that into that equation there. You could choose the other one if you want. That'll give us 8 instead of x. 8 plus y equals 11. Solving that, we'll get y equals 3. And a point as our answer, 8, 3. Moving on, let's take a look at complex elimination. In this case, we can use a multiplier so one variable will be canceled. You might notice here 5x plus y equals 9, 10x minus 7y equals negative 18, that if we add or subtract these, none of them will cancel. 5 and 10 won't cancel, y and 7y won't cancel, so we won't be able to eliminate a variable. But what we can do here is I'm going to take this first equation and I'm going to say let's multiply that first equation by a 7 by a 7. And, and we'll see why we chose a 7 here. So if I distribute that, it'd get 5 times 7, 35x, plus 7y equals 9 times 7, which is 63. That's 7 just distributed to everything. And now if we bring our other equation over here, we can see that this 7y and minus 7y will cancel each other out. And that's why we picked 7, because we saw that this y and this negative 7y would be able to cancel out. You could have also multiplied by negative two if you wanted to cancel out the x's, but we went for the y in this case. Going from there, just like before, we can add these equations together. That's gonna give us a 45x, 35 plus 10, seven y and negative seven y cancel out, equals 63 minus 18, which is 45. Solving that, we get an x value of one, and now what we can do is actually plug that one into any equation. I'm going to reuse this equation right here on top because that one looks easy, substituting in that x equals 1. So we'll have 5 times 1 plus y equals 9. Solving for that, we'll get y equals 4. And our final solution, the point 1 comma 4. Moving on to more complex elimination, you know? Sometimes the most complex things in life are also the most beautiful, like love. Anyway, we are going to use a multiplier with each equation. And for this example, we're just going to set it up and you'll get the point from there. Here we've got 5x plus 4y equals negative 14, 3x plus 6y equals 6. 
It doesn't look like any of these variables will cancel out if we add or subtract them. I also don't think I can multiply any of the numbers to cancel. Like I can't multiply 3 to get 5 easily or vice versa, 4 to get 6. I guess I could use fractions, but that gets a little complex. Uh, so check this out. This first equation, we're going to multiply by 3. That's going to give us 5 times 3 is 15x, 4 times 3 is plus 12y, negative 14 times 3. Uh, is going to give us a negative 42. That should be a negative. Whoop. Negative 42. Our second equation, we're going to multiply by negative 5. That's going to give us uh, negative 15x. 6 times negative 5 is negative 18y. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. When we look at this new system, that's actually the same system because we just used a multiplier to maintain equality. Now, this 15x minus 15x will be able to cancel out and we will be able to do basic elimination like we've been doing. So we're not gonna solve this, but we would be able to solve this from here. So sometimes when there's not an obvious multiplier, say what two numbers could I multiply uh, one each equation so that one of the variables will eliminate? It doesn't matter which one, whichever one uh, is easiest for you. This is kind of like finding common denominators, but you're trying to find common coefficients so they cancel out. Last thing we want to do is look out for those special cases. Those are no solutions and infinitely many solutions. Here we have x plus y equals 10, x plus y equals negative 9. It looks like if I subtract these equations, if I subtract these equations, changing those signs, my x minus x will cancel. Y minus Y will also cancel, giving me 0 equals 10 plus 9, which is 19. 0 equals 19 is a false statement. This statement does not make sense. These would be parallel lines. Therefore, there is no solution. Here we have 2X plus 4Y equals 10. Negative X minus 2Y equals negative 5. Looks like we need a multiplier to cancel. I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by 2 so I can cancel out those X's. That's going to give me the top equation the same. Multiply bottom equation by 2. We'll get negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 10. Now we can see 2x minus 2x cancels. 4y minus 4y cancels. 10 minus 10 also cancels. We end up with 0 equals 0. This is a true statement, which means that this is the exact same line, and we have infinitely many solutions. All right, everyone. I hope this video was helpful. Iron Man, no!